Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the new comic book day preview video for uh, May 1st, 2024. We got a lot to get into. Actually, I'm sorry, that's not true. We don't have that much to get into. It's one of those weird weeks where there's a lot of annuals. There's not much coming out. Uh, it's just one of those weird fifth week kind of things or first week in a month. So you'll see. I had to move some things around get kind of created with this video a little bit to fill all the categories. So you'll see what I mean as we get into it. Uh, <clears throat> as always, guys, this is just my opinion. It's not speculation. It's not uh, uh, not telling you to run out and grab all these books or anything like that. This is just what I think is cool, stuff that I think is pretty interesting that's coming out this week. So <clears throat> let's get into it. Working with uh, a new format this week. So we're going to be doing slides this week. So for the first time. So we'll see how it goes. So hold on one second. So first category we're going to get into is cover fire, best covers of the week. So we'll start with that. <clears throat> Pardon me. And for our first pick, we have Nightwing 2024 Annual 1. This is cover B by Francisco Matina. Really nice Nightwing cover standing on like the stone bird with all the birds around him. I just think this is a really, really beautiful Nightwing cover. There wasn't a whole ton to choose from this week, guys. Like I said, uh, you'll see as we go through this list, this is a, definitely a little bit more of a condensed list than normal uh, this week. But this one did stand out. Um, I love Nightwing. Love the Nightwing series. Um, and this was definitely a standout cover for this week. Next up, we have uh, X-Men 34. This is the Unknown Comics, Comic Traders, and Sleeping Giant, uh, Jay Anacleto variant. There is also a uh, Virgin variant that accompanies this. It's an exclusive, so... Um, but it's just a really beautiful Psylocke cover. I, I, I absolutely love this cover. Um, I am definitely a sucker for a good Psylocke cover. One of those characters that I'm always looking uh, for new covers for and stuff like that. And this one, um, Jay and Cleto really killed it on this one. So I love the psychic knife. Um, I am partial to the trade dress a little bit more, but I do like the version on this. It, it would be a nice set to own. Um, so it'll be something I'll be looking for. And then, for our honorable mentions, we have Feral 2. This is the 1 in 75 variant, um, Glow in the Dark variant um, by Tony Fleeks and Trish Forrestner. So this was released a week later for some reason. I heard about it, uh, Tony Fleeks uh, talking about it on his Instagram. So I'm not sure why this is the case. I'm also not sure why it's a 1 in 75. So you have to do a little bit of research into this one. But it is a cool cover. I'm hoping I see it somewhere. And uh, I hope I get my hands on it. I love Glow in the Dark covers. So this is a really cool one too. So then that's it guys. That's it for covers this week. Those three covers. Like I said, uh, it's a bit of an odd week. So we'll get into eagerly awaited, most anticipated reads of the week. And uh, first up we have star Wars, the Phantom Menace 25th anniversary special uh, number one by Greg pack and Will Sliney. So normally I don't put number ones on this list, but again, I had to get a little creative. And as far as like something I want to read, um, this was right up there. So we're getting some kind of new um, stories or things that we didn't know uh, about the Phantom Menace. Some like I think some of it might take place before the uh, the film. So it just sounded interesting to me. I'm I, I, I'm as I've grown older, I've grown to really appreciate the prequels for what they are. And uh, anytime you get a chance to get some new content when it comes to those is something that interests me so I, i'm not a huge fan of this cover it's not bad don't get me wrong um but my favorite cover for this one was the uh chris sprouse um queen amidala variant i just i think this is a really cool cover you don't see this character too often on covers um so yeah this would be the cover i chose uh, i would choose for this issue and then next up we have Again, a number one, Get Fury by uh, Get Fury number one by Garth Ennis and Jason Burroughs. So this sounded really interesting to me. I didn't know anything about this coming out. It is a Max series, um, but you're getting Garth Ennis back doing some Punisher and Nick Fury stuff here. So that intrigues me. Um, it, it's it's a Nick Fury, Frank Castle, Vietnam story. So it I think this has a lot of potential to be something very interesting. Um. I think I think the baseline of the story is that Nick Fury has been taken captive. He knows too much about secrets of the, about the government, so they send Frank Castle in basically to kill him. <laughs> and I'm sold. That's all I need to know. So, uh, yeah, it's something I'm definitely looking forward to reading. 
again, this all these books would have been popping uh, popping up on the Funky Fresh uh, uh, list, but since I didn't have too much to work with this week, I had to move some stuff around. So, so for our Funky Fresh pick of the week, we went with uh, Space Ghost by David uh, Popose or Popose and uh, Jonathan Lau from Dynamite. Uh, really looking forward to this. Uh, I, I, I'm a huge fan of Space Ghost. I kind of grew up with Space Ghost Coast to Coast, but I, I was, I knew Cartoon Network in its early days to know of uh, Space Ghost that, like, from the reruns that they would show of just the regular Space Ghost show. So, I think this is a little bit more of a grittier, darker telling of the story. So, I'm looking forward to it. I love this A cover. I was going to feature some other covers, but I didn't want to take away from the A cover because this thing. It's awesome. <laughs> this A cover is great. I think there is a virgin um, incentive as well, but just the colors on on this, the the space, the look of Space Ghost on this, it's just great. I absolutely love this this cover A. So, like I guess I did want to take away from it. We do have a couple honorable mentions for the Funky Fresh category, so we'll get into those. If Blood Brothers Mother, uh, number one by Brian Azzarello and Eduardo Rizzo from Distillery. Uh, I said this, I think, last week. I'm picking up anything that Distillery done has is doing because they haven't missed yet, as far as I'm concerned. Um, this we're getting a Distillery Western book, so something I'm definitely looking forward to. Uh, I think it's a little bit of a revenge story. I think it's about the brothers and their mother was abducted. Uh, I didn't really want to get into much. I don't like getting too deep into uh, previews of books. It's a western, like I said. Distillery has been killing it. I'm going to pick it up. So, and then we have one more Deadpool and Wolverine World War Three number one by Joe Kelly and Adam Kubert um, from Marvel. So it's a, it was only a matter of time before we got a Deadpool and Wolverine book <laughs> before the movie comes out. Um, this sounds interesting. I like how Adam Kubert's on the uh, on the artwork. So you get a, a really classic like Wolverine artist doing the artwork. Um, I don't really know what this series is going to be about. I don't know if it's going to be any good. I, I you know, I, I think it could be good. Joe Kelly has a lot of history with Deadpool, so uh, we'll see how it goes. But there are some covers that we featured. You obviously got to feature the Rob Liefeld cover. <laughs> I honestly, I think this is one of uh, Rob Liefeld's better covers recently. I really like this, honestly. So, uh, you got to throw the creator of Deadpool in there if we're going to feature covers for this book. And then we also have the J. Scott Campbell Web Store dress variant. Um, I went with the dress variant. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the undressed variant, but the dress variant is really cool. Uh, he just he kills Wolverine and Deadpool on this cover. I like the the undressed version is just all white as well. I like how this background has a little bit more color to it. Um, so we featured that. And then there is also the 1 in 100 Gabriel Delato virgin variant. I believe this is also um, available for trade dress um, as well. But the 1 in 100 is the virgin Really, really nice um, Wolverine and Deadpool painting style cover. I love the uh, the Deadpool arm in this, just getting destroyed by Wolverine. I love how the sword's going through Wolverine. Um, the background leaves a little bit to be desired, I guess, if I had to nitpick. But the depiction of the characters is what really is beautiful on this uh, cover. So there you have it, guys. That's Funky Fresh. We have one more category, and that is Key of the Week. Again, another number one um, spotlight Key of the Week, Blood Hunt number one by Jed McKay, uh, Pepe Larraz, and Marte Garcia. Key Significance is the debut issue of the five-issue event featuring Marvel Universe versus Vampires. Now, you also get the blood or the, I guess, like the red tape issues or however they're, whatever they're calling those that are, I guess, a little bit more um, graphic. So look out for those. Should be interesting. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of uh, vampire storylines. Um, but, you know, we'll give it a shot. I, I don't know if uh, I'll grab every tie-in. We'll see. I'll probably grab the five is blood hunt issues, though. So hopefully it's good. And uh, kind of like our um, Marvel story arc to kind of kick off the nice weather, I guess. Uh, it's kind of interesting that it's debuting on such a quiet week. Maybe that's on purpose. I'm not really sure, but anyway, guys, that, there you have it. Oh, there, I'm sorry. There is one more cover that we wanted to feature. This is the one in 25 by Kale new variant. Really awesome. I honestly, I think this is the best cover for the, for the blood hunt books. 
um just really cool i love the blade uh i love blade in the background with the two swords to the left and right you get falcon in the middle so just really cool i like the the design of this cover a lot yeah, obviously you're gonna, it's featuring some interesting uh characters the moon knight um scarlet witch so it should be pretty interesting we'll see what it's what it's like so who knows but anyway so like I said, there you have it, guys. Those are the picks of the week. Short list this week. Um, I, like I said, which is one of those weird weeks. Um, but, you know, get out your LCSs. Um, check out Blood Hunt if you're if that's something that interests you. Um, I'm, I'm more so looking forward to Space Ghost, the new Star Wars, and uh, the Blood Brothers Mother. Those are probably the three books that I'm, I'm most excited to check out this week. Um but yeah, guys, also new comic book day, or I'm sorry, free comic book day is the following Saturday, May 4th. Um, it's also May 4th, so May 4th be with you. Um, so just a really cool day. Um, do your best to get out to your LCSs. Um, you know, I always try to tell my friends that have kids about a free comic book day. It's a great way to get kids in the comics. Bring your nephews, bring your kids, bring your nieces. You know, um, it's just a really fun day. I try to hit as many local shops as I can. Um, and I always try to grab something, guys. It's not a free day for the comic shop, so I always try to at least pick up something from the shop. Um, my my local local SCS, I always try to bring them either like something to eat or drink or something like that. Um, it's a nice day to show your appreciation for your uh, local comic shops. So be sure to get out there, and uh, I hope everyone has an awesome new comic book day. I hope everyone has an awesome free comic book day, and I will see you guys next week. And as always. Happy hunting.